Yo, what up, YouTube thief? I uh, want to do an update to my toolbox. I want to do an update to Jackson's toolbox. Uh, and then we're going to do Gus's toolbox. Gus finally got his toolbox done. So we're going to go through and we're going to review his toolbox sometime this week. Um, I've been slamming hours, man. So I haven't really uploaded lately. Um, but I, uh, Jackson's done, Jackson got a new car and he's done a bunch of stuff to his toolbox. And then uh, I've done a bunch of stuff to mine. But uh, hey, one of the benefits of working out of the dealership, man, is you got de detailers. So uh, my detailers are hooking me up. You got the wrapper in there. And they're hitting it up. So hell yeah. Usually we work on their uh, their cars. The techs work on their cars and they'll wash our cars for us. But uh, yeah, well, I've been slamming hours the last couple of months, man. We got a, we've been super busy in the shop, man. I did four tickets today. We got Edgar right there working on a Ram. We got some transpo damage on this brand new 2024 Ram. So he's ripping ripping the front end off. He's got to do a bunch of stuff to that. Um, and we got a substantial amount of vehicles in the shop. All right, Will's doing like a front differential rebuild on that. And then we got the Forever Clean Jokers in here. Um, but yeah, so once again, here's the box. Uh, still same cart. Um, it's the Snap-on extreme green krsc 430 abk g7 which i don't know what all that means but i think g7 means extreme green but uh, i'll try to go over i'll try to breeze over stuff that i've already covered and hit on stuff that is new to the box but um i did get a funnel holder so i got a place to put all my funnels still got the long screwdrivers on the outside uh, I did move all my trim tools to my box. I keep this long Cornwell one on the outside. Uh, two new additions, all these pry bars are old. Uh, so I'm not gonna cover those, but I did get a 25 inch snap-on half, in half inch uh, flex head. And then I got a long 3 8 inch locking flex head for when I need that additional torque. Uh, this snap-on is an awesome toolbox, uh, awesome tool, all right, awesome ratchet. This is one of my favorite, favorite ratchets. I use that thing so much doing, doing, uh, drive belts on the Cummins, you know, suspension work, uh, dropping cradles for when I do engines and stuff like that, but pretty much the same on the outside of the box. Nothing new there, but we'll go over, I got my little tray here. Ooh. Uh, one thing I did get was, and so I had my Amazon special uh, headlights, and those were like 35 bucks. Big problem with those is the the battery would die. I'd use it for an hour, and the battery would die. But I did spend some money on this light band. I think it's like 80 bucks, and then you know more with the battery. But this light band is awesome because this battery pack, uh, it, you can use it all day. So uh, the battery did lasts like almost all day. I don't think I change it. I think I use it all day and then I charge it. But uh, this is an awesome addition if you wear headlights. Uh, the one thing sucks is the battery is kind of heavy in the back. But you can get used to it. I don't know. I was in the army, so I wore a helmet. For years and years and years so i'm kind of used to stuff like that so uh not a not a not a deal breaker for me but this is awesome it works all day but starting off with the top of the box where do we want to go first let's start with extensions first so um i had the 3 8 inch extensions the 3 8 inch wobble bus finally came in and i got those uh, I got some locking 3 8 inch wobble plus and then I got my quarter inch wobbles um, and then I got a set of Matco universal uh, quarter inch I use these a lot uh, let's see what else got a bunch of miscellaneous extensions down here and a center auto punch and then a spark plug gapper and that's pretty much it for the extensions. I do recommend these Wobble Plus, man. They're freaking awesome. They're kind of expensive. They're like 280 bucks, but 
they're awesome additions and they they come in super handy uh let's see ratchets all right this is my ratchet drawer uh, I got my favorite, the 3 8 inch locking flex head, and then the stubby 3 8 inch locking flex head. I got my Cornwell 3 8 inch, use that one for changing oil. 3 8 inch indexing head, that head spins around. I don't use this as much as I thought I was going to, but I have it. And I got these, these are new right here. So this is a quarter inch body with three eighths inch head and it's indexing. And I also have the, the indexing quarter inch. So I use this one a lot more than this. This one, it, you use them when you're, you're low on space, you know, when you're in tight spaces and you wanna, you know, spin the ratchet around in a circle without like ratcheting, but, um, yeah, I really like these. I've got a few of them. This is a 3 8 inch head and a quarter inch body. This is a 3 8 inch head, quarter inch body, and this also is. But these ones are my favorite ratchets, man. The the 3 8 inch head and the quarter inch body, they, they're, they're so awesome, man. I love them. Uh, when you're in a tight space and you wanna use 3 8 inch sockets and you know, you don't have the room to spin a 3 8 inch ratchet this these are awesome on exhaust manifolds and stuff like that these these ratchets are so amazing um moving on i got the mac quarter inch i did not like this as much as i thought i was going to uh the back drag is a lot on it um so i don't use it quite as much as i use the other one i got snap on this is just a regular a quarter inch flex head uh, I use this I got this from Jackson he ended up buying uh, a high-vis one and he had this one so it was spare he gave it to me and then I got a long uh, fixed head quarter inch and then this gear wrench man I want to talk about this gear wrench so this gear wrench is like 48 bucks on Amazon it's the uh, 120 XP and it comes in at about 48 bucks uh, gear wrench is like cheap you know Chinese tools but this quarter inch has the least amount of back drag of any ratchet that I've that I've ever had snap on Mako whatever this don't sleep on this ratchet this is this is a really good addition right here and it's cheap so um, you can order it from Amazon grab that uh, I use this a lot because it's got a very thin silhouette and I like it. I wish I could change that yellow. I don't like the gear inch yellow, but hey, whatever. And then over here, I got all my universal um, gear wrench extensions and I think they come in eight, 10, I think 12, 13, 14, and 15. I use the 10 and 13 a lot. And then moving on, I got my little quarter inch stubby uh, snap on, use this quite a lot. Um, I got the Matco 3 8 in the quarter inch body. Since I got the snap on ones, I haven't used this quite as much, but I keep it around, you know, for nostalgia. And then I got a little, I think this is a Matco. I think this was, this came as a 3 8 inch in a quarter inch body and I switched these heads out and this one, I don't, know why i keep it in the i actually need to move it over there to my big box because i don't use it and then i got a snap on uh flex head spark plug and uh spark plug ratchet and 3 8 inch uh i use this this is like my favorite quarter inch ratchet i typically grab for this quarter inch when i just need to do common quarter inch jobs oh this is like Pretty much my go-to ratchet i love the indexing head ratchets they're awesome and then i have my cornwell quarter inch don't like this that much but it was one of the first ones i bought so i keep it around and then i got the really long flex head quarter inch snap on i like that uh, i just used it today because i needed to get down to a 
really uh, long reach, uh, a really hard to reach area that I needed a very long ratchet. So I used that. And then I got this Mac and it's a locking flex head. I do like the Mac locking flex head. Uh, you just push the button and then you rotate it. Um, they did well with that, but the, the Mac ratchets have a lot of back, back drag on them. But that is my ratchet drawer. So I've added a bunch to it, but I do like those 3 8 inch uh, heads and the quarter inch bodies. Those are awesome. And now moving on, we'll move on to the sockets where to start. Um, we'll start from the bottom. So I do have the 3 8 inch Astro sockets and these are the super shallows and it goes with this this long like ratcheting wrench so the super shallows fit in there uh love that when doing serpentine belts and stuff like that uh really good set and it's relatively cheap the only thing every time i order something from astro it takes three years to to get to me so um if you can if you got a gear wrench guy usually keep astro on the truck i'd i'd recommend ordering it like that then this rail, I got an 8 mil Essentials from Matco, and then a 10 mil Essential. And so it's every 8 mil and every 10 mil that you could possibly want on one rail. And they got magnetics, they got mids, and all, all sorts of stuff. So I really like those two sets. You really use them a lot. Um, I got my Tekken quarter inch uh, universal sockets, and then the 3 8 inch universal sockets. Uh, use those a lot. I've only broken one and I broke the 10 mil Tecton. Good thing about Tecton is when you break them, uh, you can warranty them, but they're, they're inexpensive enough to where you could just order. So I broke the 10 mil, it was 10 bucks. I ordered a new one. It was there in two days. Um, really good sockets, man. Uh, the only reason why I broke the 10 mil is because I was probably doing something I wasn't supposed to be doing. I, I think I had it on an impact, uh, ratchet and just the pin came out. Uh, I think it's down there. We'll see it later on during the tour. So I got my quarter inch set from Snap-on and it's shallow, uh, mid and deep. And then I got Snap-on hex drive in millimeters. And then these two big ones are Quinn's. Uh, I need to get Snap-on to replace those two. And then that's the same thing with my Torx. These two big ones are Quinn. And then this is a Snap-on. Um, only one i really had problems with is this one i think this is a t20 no this is a t30 i was using that with the impact and it twisted but it still works so i'm going to keep using it until it doesn't work anymore and then i'm going to warranty it out and then i got the reverse torque set and snap on uh my three eights are snap on uh shallow deep and mid and these three eights set go all the way up to i think uh what is it six to 20 yeah so six all the way to 20 and then 21 22 23 and 24 are all uh tectin and that goes for the shallow and deep and then i got an rpt set right here uh rpts are basically the rbrts rebranded sold by somebody else but they're for rusted hex bits and then i got my snap on deep and shallow in half inch uh, over here, I got a, what is this, an O2 sensor socket. I got my micropod. In between some of the sockets, I got, you know, my favorite screwdriver. I got two of these. I keep this one up top uh, because I use that one the most. And then I got gear wrench 3 8 uh, wobble extensions. These are, these are pretty awesome. I use these very, very often. Uh, moving on, we already covered the, the uh, nano sockets. I do have a Snap-on Universal Deep in 3 8 uh, and those are select sizes. I think it's like 10, 12, 13, 15, 17, 19. And then I've got some Sunex, um, what are they called? Shallow, not shallow. They're like stubby hex bits. Uh, these are 3 8 drive, so they come they come in clutch when you're doing like brake calipers and you know brake jobs and they have hexes on them i use those those quite often They're also good for differential plugs and then i just bought these these are snap-on 
um, wobble sockets and their select sizes. I think it's the same as the universal. It's like 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 19, or, or something like that. And then moving on, I've got, I think this is gear wrench. Let me see. Yeah, these are gear wrench and they're quarter inch wobbles and then gray pneumatic deep quarter inch wobbles. And these are like a splined socket. They're, they don't look like six point. They look like, I don't know what they are, but I use them and they work. I like them. Uh, then I got a few 10 mils down there. I got my magnetic, which are Sonics. They're deep or they're deep and shallow. And this is quarter inch. Yeah, so these are my Sonix deep, uh, deep and shallow. Sorry, somebody just started a vehicle without exhaust manifolds on it. Uh, moving on, I got a few like specialty, uh, what is this, impact like, impact universal joints, that's quarter inch, three eighths and a half, and then some reducers and adapters and, and so on in chrome and impact. I got my wheel sockets, which are from Koken. These are really awesome. These are on the internet or on the internet they're on amazon i think i got them for like 40 bucks and then this 22 milli millimeter you gotta order separate and that was like 25 bucks and then i got two 22 mils uh one for a torque wrench and then one for an impact that way i can impact lugs on and then torque them down got my magnetic 5 8 this is like the only spark plug socket you need if you work for chrysler uh, it's got a magnet on the inside and it's 3 8 and it's got a universal so to get to those hard to reach hemi spark plugs um, it's a really awesome magnetic spark plug socket uh, and then moving on i could blow by the rest of this stuff pretty quick i got an 8 mil for removing stud so 8 mil stud stud remover i got my gear wrench 3 8 inch uh shallow wobbles and then three eighths inch deep wobbles then some more spark plug sockets i got half inch shallow wobbles from gear wrench and all those wobbles were from gear wrench and then my impacts are tectin and that's six to 24 in deep and shallow and that's pretty much the top of my box i got an oil filter plug for changing the oil filter on a cummins and then i got some random bits down there and that is pretty much it for the top of the box. So moving on to the second drawer, which is the wrench drawer. Uh, this drawer is the one that I've spent the most amount of work on. So I did change out my Matco um, wrenches because they were splined and these are 12 point. These are from Cornwell. Uh, they're actually rebranded. One manufacturer makes them. I don't know who it is, and they sell the Cornwell and Matco. They won't sell to you direct. But the good thing about the Cornwell ones is the Cornwell ones are 12 point instead of splined. And then I got the Cornwell, um, the five piece, and then the two piece set of these long wrenches. Um, I'm not going to go over that. I covered those in depth in another video. I got some crescent wrenches down here. And then I got my Mac, uh, what are these called? The Mac uh, ratcheting wrenches. Uh, and pretty much everything in my box is metric. So I got the standard and then the stubby. And once again, these are for Mac. And then one big addition is the Mac RBRT set. And this set goes from six to, I think, what is it? 32 millimeter, um, but this, set of wrenches is awesome i freaking love these uh there was like mixed reviews on youtube about these about how you shouldn't use them as a daily driver but i've been using them as a daily driver and i freaking love them so i uh, do recommend i got them on special uh i do uh, recommend waiting until they come on special because you'll save about four hundred dollars but it's complete set six to uh 30 or 32 but awesome set of wrenches. And then I got some EGR service tools and then a trailer brake testing light. Moving on, third drawer. Haven't really done that much to this drawer. This is the same thing. Got my screwdrivers, my radiator tools, more radiator tools, some picks, some trim tools, and then uh, my big picks. Uh, I do want to redo this drawer, get rid of all the blow mold cases and get like 
the wrench organizers and put them side to side so I can fit more stuff into this drawer. Uh, this, it, I'm kind of abusing the space right here. I think I could make better use of this space, but it does look pretty. Moving on to the third drawer. This is like, this drawer is kind of like a, an accessory drawer or a miscellaneous drawer. I got some more um, trim tools. I do love these trim tools, the 90 degree bent trim tools. I got my regular trim tools. I got some seal pullers, got my power probe, my multimeter, and uh, some, you know, some hex bits. Uh, I did get this socket set, which is a half size for them swollen sockets. And this pretty much is like a bunch of expendable stuff, you know, rotary tools. And uh, honestly, I don't know. I haven't been in there in a while, so I don't know what's there. All right, moving on to the fourth drawer. So I clean, I recorded this video and then I re-recorded it because I wasn't happy with the plier drawer. The plier drawer still looks unorganized, but it looks a lot or more organized than it was. Uh, I got a bunch of robo grips over here and some putty scrapers and just miscellaneous stuff. My radiator hose tool. Um, I got my Lyle oil filter sockets, some uh wire some safety wire and then got my radiator hose pliers some more crimping radiator hose pliers i did get these i freaking love these these are for those uh pesky electrical connector i think they're called like electrical connector pliers these are awesome though um i think they're 25 bucks i got them from cornwell and then I'm not really going to go over all my pliers. I went over it in the last video, but pretty much the standard. I got the six-piece snap-on set. Six or eight-piece or something. It was like a snap-on set. But I do use these the most. These are my favorite pliers. They're the nickel pickup pliers on TikTok or whatever. And then I got the little set. Because i got to have two of them. And then I did get these... Um, Nipex pliers from the Matco truck. I use these a lot. And then I don't know who makes these for Matco, but I really like these radiator hose pliers. Or not radiator, they're just coolant hose, any kind of hose plier. Uh, these are a lot better than the Cornwall set that I had. So the Cornwall set got moved to my big box because I, I didn't like them that much. And then pretty much it's the same old, same old. I did get some radiator clip pliers. I like these a lot. And I think I did add these since the last time I recorded a video where, which uh, somebody commented what these were. They're like Swedish pliers or something. These are awesome though. And then I got them in the, not the most big set. I don't think you could say most big, the, the more bigger set. But uh, I got the three sets. Uh, Swedish. They're Swedish pipe wrench pliers. Yeah. But uh, I think they make five of them and I'm missing two of them. But I've got the sizes I need. But that's pretty much it for the pliers. Um, pretty much standard stuff. You know, I got some vice grips in there. I do got the Nipix um, Twin jaw pliers. I got Jackson over there helping 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 me when I can't say the words and stuff. So and then Moving on this drawer. I've done a lot to this drawer. This was my next drawer. This is my torque wrench drawer. So look at this Bam, we'll save the best for last. Um, I did move one of my hammers out and I got a, uh, a big rubber hammer for beating off calipers. Uh, I got tired of walking across the shop and getting Jackson's uh, mallet. So I got my own. I, I, I kind of try to get everything in green so I know whose who's tools are what. But uh, the Matco guy ordered ordered the green set for me. And then I still got my Mac anti-vibes. Got my snap-on air hammer, caliper tool. I, I need to pull this out because I don't use that. I do use it sometimes when I can't get the other caliper tool on. Um, but that's in the next drawer. I got my indexing cutoff tool and then the 90 degree die grinder. I got my Cornwell quarter inch clicker wrench. I don't use that quite as much anymore. I did add the half inch split bean snap on uh, torque wrench. And then I got the tech angle set. 
and I did have the half inch and I had a three eighths inch in a different color. So he allowed me to trade this in, trade my two wrenches in on this set, which came with the quarter inch. Now this quarter inch is freaking amazing. This is like my favorite torque wrench for torquing down like transmission pans. This thing is awesome. I was kind of skeptical about the quarter inch torque wrench in the beginning. I didn't know how good it was gonna be, but that has really impressed me. I love it. Here's that Tecton socket that is broken. I keep it there just to remind me not to use freaking chrome sockets on impacts. And then that is pretty much it for that drawer. Oh, I did get these, man. These are air hammer accessories. So check this out. There's one that's a three eighths and one that's a half inch. You put a socket or like, you know, an RBRT on the end of this, and then you put this in the air hammer, and then you can put a wrench on this and hit it lightly with the air hammer and twist it with the wrench. And it allows you to get out bolts that you wouldn't normally be able to get out. This is an awesome freaking air hammer accessory. It's made by Mayhew. It's called the two bolt breaker set. I would recommend getting this. It was relatively cheap. I think this set was like 80 bucks something. I don't know. I can't remember, but it was well worth it. Save my ass a few times. We'll just leave that right there. And then the last drawer is my electric tool drawer. Uh, I can't remember in the old video what I had in there. I think it, I think it was all DeWalt. So I moved all my DeWalt to my big box. Uh, all that I have left is the half inch and the three eighths inch um, electric ratchets and those are down. Those are high torque. I use them in high torque situations. And then for efficiency, I use all this other, all these uh, snap on because they're super quick. Um, my favorite is this quarter inch, man. This quarter inch, there, there is no better electric quarter inch than this. Uh, you can literally fight me on this. Everybody's gonna say Milwaukee, whatever, whatever, all the Milwaukee fanboys, but that quarter inch right there is the best quarter inch. Anybody that tells you, oh, but the Milwaukee has more torque. I'm not using this tool for torque. I'm using it for efficiency. And this thing spins fast. It allows you to get out bolt really fast. And uh, if I wanted torque, I would get a regular ratchet and use my man's strength to get stuff off. But definitely the best electric ratchet for quarter inch. And then I have quarter inch short, quarter inch long, three eighths inch short, three eighths inch long. And the uh, three eighths inch are the new ones. So they come with the light right there. Um, I did get a quarter inch bit driver. Like I said, efficiency tool. I love this for getting out uh, when I'm doing like bumpers and stuff and I have to take out 90 bolts. This is an awesome tool. And then three eighths, like I said, efficiency tool right here. When I have to take off belly pans and stuff like that, I'll use the three eighths. When I need torque and I'm doing like a transmission pan, I get out my handy dandy air. Uh, Mac tools three eighths inch and this will get about everything that I want off so, And then I got my uh, half inch to uh, Half inch impact. It's the uh, I think it's the CT 90 80. It's the big boy Only bad thing about that thing is it's heavy as fuck man uh, by the time I get to the fort wheel I'm like in muscle failure. So that's the only thing that really sucks about the 9080, man. It's heavy. I want to get the 9050 uh, for when I'm doing like regular vehicles. But when I'm working on the big Cummins, man, uh, I need the 9080 to get off uh, the lugs. But that's pretty much it, man. Um, I did want to do an update because I've done a lot, of, lot to the box. But uh, hey, uh, hey, I appreciate you guys watching. If you got any... Uh, Anything that you want me to cover, want me to review, want me to go in depth on, just uh, hit me up, man. Hit me up in the comments and be like, hey, you know, talking to further depth about this tool or whatever. If you see a tool like you got questions on, uh, really want to start doing more content uh, for YouTube. But we're going to do Jackson's next. And then I got Gus's coming this week. Also, I, I think I'm going to record it this week and then I'm going to upload in a few weeks. 
Also, we're gonna do Edgar's box, but hey, once again, man, this is Thief. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to smash that sub button later.